Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another episode of your bug bugging tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at vectors and velocities. So, uh, what is a vector and a velocity? Well, I, I, we'll find out. So, what you want to do is you want to make a on command. So, like this. So, control space to bring that up. And, <laughs> basically, what a vector or velocity is, is it, um, it changes the sort of speed that the player is going at. So, we're going to make like a super jump plugin. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to shoot them straight in the air. And obviously it's very easy to customise, you can do it very easily. And I'll show you how to do that. So, what we're going to do is check if the label is... Uh, so if the label that equals ignore case test, because I think that's why I've set it up to. We want to um, we want to get the we want to check if the player is a sender, or if the sender is a player. So if the sender is an instance of a uh, player, then we're going to say player, player equals player, sender. Basic setups like we've been doing for the past 60 tutorials. Then what we want to do is we want to say player dot set velocity, and what this does is we're going to set the way they move. So we're going to say new uh, vector, and you see here we have like double x double floats and ints and stuff. So let's go for the double one. What we want to do is we want to set the x to zero like that, or actually no, we want to set the x to whatever x they were going at before. So we want to say player dot get um, vector or velocity dot get x so that's going to return the x velocity they're going at now for y we want to shoot them up in the air loads so i think 0 0.25 is the jumping one so if we want to make them go up loads we just set this to like eight or something and then for this one we just say player dot get velocity dot get x like that so obviously you can change these also not get x get z Dead. Obviously, you could change this to make x go in a different direction. Uh, we can also do like player uh, player dot set velocity uh, new vector uh, I like player dot get I think it's get direction. Or no dot get velocity. It's dot get velocity dot get direction. No, sorry, dot get location. So you get the location and you can get their direction from it, and that returns the direction they're looking at. So you can do a lot of stuff with that, and it, it's very, it's very cool. You can, you know, decide which way you want to move them. And actually, if we go into, I have the surfing bat night code. Um, you see on player move for the Catwoman code. We're checking. This is just for the leap thing. Uh, we're setting their velocity uh, to for their. They're just going to keep on going the direction, but we're multiplying their y. So we're just basically all we're doing there is we're going to keep them going in the same direction they were going in before. But instead, we're just going to add what stuff to their Y so they leap. So if we export this now, uh, I'll see you guys in game. All right, so back in game, and if I'm just walking along here and I do slash test, it's going to shoot me way up in the air, and then bring me that down, blah 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 down. And if you see, if I am falling, then what it's going to do is it's going to just override it and shoot me up. Um, if I find a bit of water that's going to move me, so if I make like a little trench thing here, uh, just going um, here. So if I go to this part of it, and if I shoot myself up, you'll see I'm going to carry on moving in that sort of direction. Because it's not overriding my x um, velocity, it's just changing my y velocity. My x can stay, you know, the same as it was. Uh, so if I was moving, and if I did it to someone else... The x and y would stay the s or x and z would stay the same. I'd just be overriding their y. Uh, obviously, if you want to do this to someone else, you can put it back in code. You can just change the player sending it to to you know an argument that you added, which obviously we did in the first no the second tutorial. So if you don't know how to do that, go watch the second tutorial again. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been a short tutorial. Um, next time we might look at sort of um, you know the directional movement. So I'll see you guys next time.